Hi, I'm Mike from Hackaday, and today I'm showing off the first prototype of the Hackaday Belgrade Conference Badge. This is our first ever conference in Europe. It's being held in Belgrade, Serbia on April 9th. If you wanted to attend, check out hackaday.io forward slash Belgrade. Uh, but even if you can't attend, you have a chance to hack this badge. We're working on a framework for a demo scene, which means you can use a software emulator to try out your code for this device and then send it in. We'll flash the hex to the badge at the conference and show them off and you know pick a, a few of our favorites. Um, so let's jump right in and take a look at what's on this board. So this was designed by Voya and Tonish and it uses two AAA batteries in a holder on the back and it drives this 8x16 LED display. Right now it's running a bit of firmware that I wrote, um, just a basic C uh, framework and a few patterns. So it lights up the whole display and uh, then it gives you like an every other um, LED illuminated option. We got a little chasing pattern here and I wanted to be a little more creative. So I started putting uh, words in here and this is running off of um, an array of chars so you can you change the message if you want. I also made a vertically scrolling version of it and uh, interestingly you I started off having it be the same message so I had lowercase letters and since it's a fixed size font if you do that you get a couple of uh, dead um, spaces in between because the lowercase is, is uh, vertically shorter. Um, I went on from there to do a bouncing ball. It's not all that interesting to see one ball bounce around a small screen like this, but if you actually toggle the LEDs rather than erasing them when you move the ball, it does generate kind of a nice pattern. And uh, you know that's only going to be interesting once or twice through as well. So I turned the ball into a struct so I could have several balls with different velocities. And that starts out a little bit more visual interest. So what Voy has actually done is put a USB mini B port on the side here and the PIC microchip that's controlling this is running a USB bootloader. So you can actually flash your own code onto this without having a program, which is pretty nice. And I've just done that. Um, I've used uh, Voya's assembly code. So he's been writing his demonstration completely in assembly. And this is a game of Tetris. So you recognize the, the common uh, pieces and you know there's the middle button rotates and you get left and right. Um, this is actually a first prototype badge and he designed this one just with three buttons but it's gonna have four buttons. They're gonna be um, some 12 millimeter buttons so a little bit larger and they're gonna be in an up down left right pattern which is gonna be a little bit nicer I think you know if you wanna make a game of snake or other things you can do that. Um, when you run out of uh, vertical space here it just gives you a T um, but Voya has also written uh, an interesting function. Um, this pin, this uh, switch right here is attached to the interrupt pin, int zero. And so when you click it, it puts it into pause mode and you can press a button to start again. Um, but if it's in pause mode and you press it a second time, it puts it into low power sleep mode. Now all of the peripherals, like the uh, constant current sync driver that's uh, addressing this display, their power pins have been attached to a P-channel MOSFET. And so when the PIC chip goes into low power sleep, it shuts off that MOSFET so you don't have any other parts um, draining power. So even though it doesn't have a hardware on off switch, having this uh, low power sleep mode is uh, the next best thing. That's it for our first look at the Hackaday Belgrade Conference Badge. We'll see you in Belgrade on April 9th.